Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm still working on my dredge right now, but uh, I took some time off to uh, work on how to carry it. And since it has balloon tires and stuff on it, uh, I had to build a, a special type carrier for it. So stay tuned. Okay, well here we go. Uh, I think this is going to be part two uh, of the uh, of the series that I'm doing on this uh, uh, DC power dredge that I'm building. It's a pretty small one. Uh, it can roll across the sand, go across terrain. You get to the water where you want to go, drop it off in the water. I'm building pontoons for it, and that's what I don't have built right now. So pontoons, and uh, drop your pontoons down to stabilize it out. Uh, if you watch my earlier video, you'll kind of see the first attempt and and uh, <clears throat> excuse me how unstable it was But anyway, uh, I kept thinking I can't carry this on a normal rack behind my pickup bed uh, Because you're you're strapping the cart down and this has got balloon tires on it uh, Beach tires they only have like two or three pounds of air in them. I'm afraid I'd blow them out So this is what I've done and see how it works out What I've done is I've got some two inch square tubing that slips into my receiver hitch and then I welded a piece up here This piece right here on top um, Is a piece off of my pipe bender that doesn't work anymore So I figured well what the hell and I didn't have a pulley or anything to put on it So I put this on here uh, another piece of I think this is inch and three-quarter square tubing inch and three-quarter square tubing two inch square tubing So when these two go inside of each other or this goes inside of this one um it's going to have a little slack in it. Now, if you go ahead and buy something that's actually designed to be put in a hitch or a, a receiver like that, what comes on the truck, it's probably going to fit a little snugger. But I'm DIY. That's what this is, DIY. Do it yourself and do it the stuff you have it on. So that's what I'm doing. So basically, what we're going to do, I'm just going to scoot the card over a little bit. my hitch up kind of get it started on there and then I'm gonna take my remote right here and we'll turn it on and the winch is it's located up in the bed of my pickup and it's been there for years and I didn't want to have to move it so anyway um, what I'm gonna do is it's loud the winches are loud this is that Badlands 2500 pound winch from Harbor Freight and if you've ever had one you know you can't hardly stand them they're so loud but anyway, um, I pick it up to where it's off the ground. Then I'll come in the back, give her a shove. <clears throat> now it's on there. <clears throat> so what I want to do is get enough ground clearance. Well, that didn't pan out very well so that's why we do these videos to where we can look at them learn and as you can see that broke that well down there bomber i've even got a support in there it crept that support too so need to find a better way to get this thing to lift so uh guys why don't y'all uh put some comments in uh, tell me what I need to do to get this thing to roll up and down easier where it won't stress out that pipe so much But anyway uh, Here's gonna be part two. So uh, Any comments would be helpful. I like to use stuff that I have laying around the house don't like to go to the store everything's so expensive there. So uh, Some of you guys uh, that uh, have a good imagination tell me how I can build this uh, to where there's not so much stress on that bar All right, thanks Be sure to like subscribe Oh, y'all yeah, know what to do. Thanks.